Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading and the first card is drama, so just watch out. Things are going to be getting a bit interesting there. You've got the Mercury sitting in Leo over there, so there's a need for you to actually focus on yourself and just abandon everybody else's drama. Uh, you are the most important person, so this is where you need to focus your energies. Um, you've got Mercury there in Leo. Leo is your son. So this is what you need to do. You do need to think about yourself. You've got a lot of people that are criticizing you there, people pointing fingers over there, but you need to use your intuition and use your experience to you know get things done. You are pretty experienced and don't take don't take it from everybody else. Don't take any criticism from people. Uh, you know, it might be something coming in on the work front, um, you know, where you are um responsible for something and maybe people are just um you know having a go at you uh, for doing it your way but you do need to realize uh, with this mercury in leo uh, your way is quite a good way of doing things so you need to stand up for yourself you got the convention card over here so maybe everybody wants you to toe the line uh because you've got uh, venus there in capricorn so this is about the work front and everybody wants you to follow the traditional and maybe what you're thinking about is actually uh, you know, doing things differently. So you've got a 10 over here. That's the end of that cycle. Uh, there is a need for you to maybe go beyond what everybody else is doing and do do something very different. So in the past, you've got the loss card over there. So there's been maybe a loss of a job. It could have been a loss of some security as well. Saturn there in Pisces. Now Pisces is the sign ruled by Pluto. Pluto, Pluto rules endings. Saturn, uh, you know, is about... Um, security it's also about lessons that you have to learn so you know it was a very harsh lesson there was a, a lot of loss and you may have even lost a home as well uh you you've um started asserting yourself as well you've got sunday in in uh, aries maybe you've come to the realization that you know what you want out of life and you're not taking it from anybody else so you are standing up for yourself over there and maybe this has caused the drama there with that uh, drama card now going into the future you've got the romance and the isolation over there so there could be a new relationship that come in or maybe you're spending more time focusing on yourself and focusing on your personal happiness as well with that romance card so maybe rekindling an old relationship or even a new relationship that comes in for you there you have been spending a lot of time by yourself so uh, maybe this work because you've been so work focused you've hadn't didn't have any time for relationships but it looks like somebody's about to make some kind of gesture towards you and maybe instead of ignoring them maybe it's time to embrace a new relationship if you are not in one if you are in a relationship then there is some time that you do need to dedicate towards that relationship uh, you know too much of work and no play makes jack a dull boy they say so um, you know you do need to actually spend some time on personal happiness and uh, you know on your relationship um, the work um, you know, may need to take a little bit of a back seat there uh, so that you you don't lose a relationship or if a relationship presents itself to you, um, you know, you don't end up losing that opportunity. So there might be a need for you to just not focus so much on work, but start focusing a little bit on your own personal happiness. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to be drawing some cards from the Oracle sorry from the everyday enchantment tarot I have shuffled this deck <sighs> these are really big cards which tend to stick together but they're such a beautiful deck um, let's see Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Justice card over here. So you can see bickering and arguing going on over here. So there's some kind of drama that has happened. You can see there's a car crash over there. 
Um, so you may be involved in some kind of court case and there might be uh, problems with the other person, the other party. You may have needed a mediator to come in and sort these problems out, uh, but it seems like um, you know there's a lot of drama that's going on over there. You got the page of wands over there, so some messages coming in pretty quickly uh, with that page of wands and something, some kind of information coming to light that you need to act pretty quickly on. And it might be some kind of legal news that comes in. There's something that, uh, there might have been an offer that has been made. There's something that you need to consider, which you haven't been looking into, or you didn't even want to go down that route really, but it might be uh, something to do with arguments and fighting going on over there and maybe there's an offer that has come in and you're not accepting that offer. Uh, this news comes in very quickly. You do need to act on it and it might even help in whatever legal issue that's going on. So there seems to be some kind of battle that is that you're involved in in the midst of at the moment, some kind of drama uh, and there might be need there might be a need for you to get some uh, professional intervention within that situation. Maybe you're even going to court. Uh, and things are not working out quite as how you wanted them to. You've got uh, the Ten of Coins over here and the Queen of Wands. So the Ten of Coins, this is about inheritance, and this could be about money issues that you're dealing with. Maybe you're having a legal battle with somebody, maybe another uh, a fellow um, um, fire sign over here. You've got the Queen of Wands. So you could be dealing with a, a, another fire sign, so that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, and maybe you are having a battle with this person about legal issues or uh, you know something to do with inheritance or something to do with money. If that's not the case, and if this is your, because Queen of Wands is your card, then you do need to take control of that situation. You do need to take charge. It's going to be how you manipulate the situation that allows you to get the money. So if you're dealing with... Uh, a the justice system and that's involving some kind of payout you need to be the one that orchestrates it or moves it along or the one that uh, you know tells people how it's done uh, in order for you to make get that money coming to you whatever it is you know it's a lot of money uh, and you are entitled to it um, but so stand up for yourself make sure that you are the one that is sorting through that problem you've got the king of wands over here uh, so um, this is about taking control of that situation uh, maybe you haven't you know taking on some kind of leadership role over there this could be you know on the job front this is about uh, you know you had a choice uh, you know maybe you have um, a job um, in you know, in in a very uh, in a leadership position, really, uh, with this King of Wands. So you are heading a lot of projects over here. You are the for, the forerunner, the one that is, uh, you know, making these new bold moves as well. And uh, you know, a lot of people following you as well. There's a Two of Wands, so there's a choice of projects over there, or there might be a choice of actually even moving on and uh, traveling a lot more uh, with this job. You've got the world over there. Uh, this might be even, uh, you know, um, you going solo or going independently, uh, you know, starting your own business as well. But you're certainly working uh, uh, for yourself or working independently of, of instruction of other people. There seems to be some kind of crossroads that you are at, at, at this moment about whether to stay put or to do something different, something more international, uh, something more global over here. And I think if you do end up uh, doing something global where you're in charge, whether you're the one that is uh, you know, calling the shots, it's going to bring in a lot of money as well. So if this is not inheritance, then whatever jobs you're doing, if you take control, take charge, if you're deciding to go solo or you're deciding to work independently of a company start your own business, it's going to bring in a lot of coin that's going to allow you to be able to put money aside for the future. You've got the six of coins, so you are watching, you are waiting for money to come in and you are watching your spending uh, quite a bit here with this uh, six of coins. Uh, it looks like you are waiting for this payoff to come in over there. Now, going into the future, it seems like you've turned your back on an old situation. This might have been a work situation. This could be a relationship. You've certainly ended it, and the doors are open. Your path is clear, but you invested a lot in the situation, uh, maybe for a very long time. You put in a lot of hard work and effort, uh, and it seems like you're turning your back on it and moving away. So you're ending things and starting something new. Maybe you've decided to go independently or be independent of everybody else. You're ending it because there was a lot of conflict within the situation. You can see there's a lot of fighting going on. Uh, you know, maybe you had a lot of drama, other people's drama that you were dealing with. C situations that you couldn't control and, uh, you know, people behaving very childishly as well. So uh, it seems like this is the reason why you are moving away and walking off by yourself. 
you're certainly ending some kind of financial dependence on somebody. Maybe you're even breaking off contracts, ending old jobs and moving on as well. You've got the Nine of Cups. So whatever you're going towards is going to be very, very successful. And it looks like there's an overseas move coming in for you there. And that's going to bring in a lot of abundance. There's certainly going to be some cause for celebration over here. It's a very sweet deal as well. And you can see there's ships in the back. News is coming and it's going to be something that you have been waiting for and something that you, um, you really are going to enjoy doing. You've got the page of coins. So you are thinking outside the box with this particular new project uh you know doing something very very different uh but using all your skills and talents and you're waiting maybe also for messages uh about money to come in so maybe waiting for a new job offer to come in as well so going into the future and the final outcome you've got the moon the wheel of fortune and the ten of blades so with the moon still feeling very upset, confused, depressed, uh, you know, like things have not come to light. And there was a lot of lying and deceit that uh, went on in this particular situation. You've got the Wheel of Fortune coming in for you. So things are about to change. Even if you don't make the change, it seems like the universe is stepping in to change things. And it's about to end that situation. It, maybe the universe feels that all these people were backstabbers and, you know, there was a lying, deceitful air going you know there's a lot of nastiness going on over there and um you know you were victimized in the situation so it seems like things are coming to an end uh and uh it'll be um you know the wheel of fortune bringing in that change that transformation as well and will allow you to move forward you can see the coins coming off this tire so uh it looks like money is going to be coming so whatever this old situation is it might be a legal issue that you're dealing with maybe it's not going to go quite the way you want it to but whatever this wheel of fortune brings in it's going to bring in money with it so this new job offer that comes in is definitely going to be something um that's going to bring in a lot of money. It's going to attract a lot of money. And maybe uh, you'll be able to walk away from all the conflict that you've been going away, going through uh, recently. And the situation that you've been in has not been very nice at all. Uh, there's been just too much of drama over there. It doesn't seem like you can get, you know, a word in edgeways. Uh, it doesn't seem like people are there to support you. I, you know, they're not there to support you, but you do need to take control. You do need to, to take charge over there. People will follow and listen to you so maybe an ending of an old situation it could be an ending of family situation an ending of a job situation uh but it looks like money is going to you will get a payoff of some sort coming in over there so i'm just going to draw some cards from the um archangel power tower and the first card is the lovers so make choices from your heart deeply emotional commitments the power of love so there's a big decision that you have to make pretty soon about how you want to proceed as well there is divine guidance and uh, maybe somebody giving you some kind of good advice you've got the queen of gabriel over here which again is the same as that queen of wands you can do anything right now go after what you want the ability to attract helpful people so you do need to take control to take charge you do need to manipulate the situation uh, to get the best outcome so you have to do what it takes to get the best outcome in the situation. And then you've got the Ten of Gabriel, which is the end of this burdensome situation. Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load, working too many hours, trying too hard to please people. So you have to stop people pleasing and you have to start thinking about yourself because you are the most important person and they've been giving you a lot of drama. The Ten of Gabriel is the Ten of Wands, so you've been having a lot of problems. You can see even with that Five of Wands, a lot of problems coming in over there. So it's time for you to move on and think about your yourself drop all those burdens and then the nine of cups becomes a reality where you get what you want and you get that satisfaction and that happiness will come in for you and you will need to leave the situation behind and walk away from it it's something you do need to turn your back on uh, you know it's it's turned into something really nasty or really grubby and it's something that you can't really uh, resurrect it's something that you do need to turn your back on it and walk away and you need to make that choice and walk away so uh, it seems like maybe there is there's some legal issues that you are facing these people are you know using very um nasty means to try and get the better off you but it might mean that you just need to let go of it and walk away from it unfortunately so i hope that this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like share subscribe if it has thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye